This is a co-production of PBS 39 and Moravian College Students. The element of creativity is crucial to any educational program. The more you can appreciate how men and women have portrayed life, the greater insights you have into what it means to be a human being. College years are an exciting time in anyone's life. I know they certainly have been in mine. Hi, I'm Brittany Garzillo, a junior here at Moravian College. This small liberal arts school is located in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and was founded all the way back in 1742, making it the sixth oldest college in the country. Students at Moravian experience a liberal arts setting, meaning they experience a wide variety of all sorts of courses. Not only that, but because of the small population on campus, students truly have the opportunity to stand out from the crowd. Today, we take you into the lives of three unique students whose accomplishments in theater, music, and visual arts have set them apart from the rest. These students have discovered that art is their purpose in life. It's no doubt their stories will be more than just one for the books. I know that I was born to be a storyteller. Meet Alana Cervantes. She's 21 from California and a senior here at Moravian College. She's designed her own major, theater arts and the craft of direction. I think that um, it's kind of ordained for me to be here, you know. <laughs> After applying to a total of 31 schools, Alana decided on this small liberal arts college in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. They were talked about wonderfully. Uh, college best of 2008. It's kind of just this little liberal arts college in the middle of nowhere that nobody really knows about. Um, and I, I love it here. But her parents weren't so sure that sending their daughter 3,000 miles across the country was the right decision. It was a, okay, whatever you want. <laughs> and um, I think that, I think that they, they trusted that I knew, I knew what I was capable of and um, that I knew how hard I was gonna have to work to make this work, and I've worked hard. Hard work is no foreign task for Alana. Her journey to Moravian is an accomplishment that can stand on its own. My family struggled. I think that, you know, we, our, our biggest struggle was financially, of course, you know. Um, I did, I shopped at Goodwill for my clothes a lot of the time. My grandmother made my clothes a lot of the time, and goodness, <laughs> when grandma made you something, that's what you got to wear. <laughs> I have pictures of me in the strangest clothes. We had eventually moved in with my grandmother, and uh, we lived in like her guest house, and like the pool house, and so I shared one room with my entire family, my two siblings and my two parents. Despite her family's financial obstacles, she never viewed her childhood as much different from others. My parents tried really hard to not make it my problem, you know, to not make money my problem. Um, I didn't know until years later that, you know, they had conversations about, you know, what can we sell this week so that we can keep the kids in school. When she came to Moravian, she felt she could unleash the true artist inside of her. In high school, you know, we, I really had to fight to keep my drama club alive because my high school didn't have a, a theater program. For them, theater was something that you did on the side. It was you did for fun, it was extracurricular, but you know, people didn't really do this for a living. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't real. When she took a class with theater director Christopher Shore, she realized that a life in theater could become her reality. I had read Waiting for Godot, Samuel Beckett, and I had fallen in love with it. One of her class projects was to uh, come up with a production concept as if she was going to direct it. Christopher had written at the top next to my my grade. I said, okay, so when are, you, when are you going to direct this? I thought it was a joke, you know, oh, it was just, you know, cool. But over the summer, he said, no, I, I was serious. Can you direct the show for me? And then she did, the next year. I it was 19 years old, and, you know, <laughs> I just said, okay. <laughs> um, and I, th I think I knew. I think I knew then that, that I could do this for real. I think that Alana will, um, I think that she'll pursue directing. I think she'll pursue it very successfully. I think he really taught me is that in order to believe in the magic of theater, 
that things always come together. You know, you have to be the one to make them come together. I, I have mentors here, not just professors. So I've had a lot of opportunity here that I wouldn't have had elsewhere, uh, like being able to direct my first show at age 19, uh, full-scale production. It's what goes on behind the scenes that keeps Alana on her feet. It's a lot of work, you know. I, I'm, not, I'm not lying when I say that, you know, my days start early in the morning and end early in the morning. You start in your place here in Raven College Theater Company. So why would a college student put that much pressure on herself? I think there's something about theater that's special. It's a special kind of art. It's, it has its own dimension. Um, and theater, theater struggles sometimes, especially in America, you know, where it's expensive sometimes to watch theater or it's expensive to make theater. And, you know, there's not a lot of people who fight for it. I'm going to fight for it because it's, it's special. It's crucial. In addition to classes and outside theater work, Alana spends most of her time working on two productions from Moravian College. The first is a jazz opera entitled The Real Book of Gig. The things you see here are pieces of the set and um, you know it's, it's going to be a mad rush to the finish but I'm really excited for how it turns out. The other production is a little closer to heart. I'm working on my own musical. Uh, it's an original piece I wrote and composed called Frankly. Kind of using it as a large case study. Uh, uh, to test out my, my new rehearsal practices. Um, but that goes into production now, and I'm actually having auditions uh, currently. And uh, we go into performance for that in February. <sighs> so I'm really excited. <laughs> when a program has a lot of flexibility, some students are going to take advantage of that and others aren't. Um, and Alana is someone who's taken advantage of every opportunity available. I think that more than just knowing that you have to work hard is knowing that it will always work out. Even if it was at the very last minute and I was, you know, crying and tearing my hair out by the end. You know, something, something will always work out and you have, to, you have to be the one to make it work. And, and if, you really, if you really want it, you've know, you got to fight for it. Our next student has a whole other story to tell. Without Moravian, she wouldn't have been able to break out of her shell and blossom into the young woman that she is today. And now, there's no stopping this budding artist. That would be music. <laughs> to anyone's ears. I need food, I need air, and I absolutely need music. Meet Alexa. She's 20 from Philadelphia and a junior at Moravian. She was a film score major at Berklee College of Music in Boston before she transferred to Moravian to pursue a career in music education. I've been given so many opportunities here that I wasn't given at Berkeley because it's so easy to get lost in the crowd there. Alexa decided to switch to a school that could provide a more individualized style of teaching. Here at Moravian, there's a smaller music, uh, smaller music student body. Um, there's about maybe 100, 150 students in the entire uh, music department. That's one of the um, advantages that the program here at Moravian has to offer. The fact that um, um, the music department, though it has the rigor and the intensity of a conservatory, it works within the setting of a liberal arts. In terms of my musical development, transferring was a great decision. I wasn't aware of how great the opportunities Moravian would be. She has dedicated herself to just about every music opportunity Moravian has to offer. I get up at about 6 o'clock every day. Uh, I commute, so I have to drive 45 minutes. I have classes till about 4 o'clock, then afternoon ensembles, um, choir, marching band, uh, women's choir, vocalis, which is the 16-member uh, a cappella ensemble. Uh, I'm also in Baroque ensemble, uh, as well as a musical director for the student cabaret. I'm directing Alana Cervantes' play, frankly. It's a busy, busy day. There's one aspect of music Alexa particularly enjoys over the rest. She says that music is universal. Music is absolutely universal. It's something everybody has. Every culture has it. It's just, it's something that connects everybody, I think. Uh, no matter what language you speak, where you're from, it's still something that you have. I've never met a single person that doesn't like music. And for Alexa, life without music wouldn't be the same. I really don't know what I'd be without it. If you took it away, I don't think you'd have much left. It's been such a part of my life for so long. Um, I really don't know. I'd be an empty shell of a person without it. 
While Alexa always had music to rely on, she had a hard time finding her place among her peers. I kept to myself for a very long time. Uh, from elementary to high school, I was really a loner, I guess you could say. I really, really immersed myself in music and reading. I was reading books all the time. I was the girl who would sit in the corner and read and study scores, sheet music scores, while other kids were socializing. It wasn't until college where I could really, I really felt comfortable and came out of my shell because I was surrounded by other people with the same passion as I had. Since then, Moravian has allowed her to follow her passions and advance her skills in every aspect of music. Here at Moravian, they offer these classes called tech classes. Music education majors take these classes and we learn the basics of an assortment of instruments. The fact that Alexa is um, involved in in different uh, aspects of music uh, may, may uh, result in, in different future avenues for her. One possibility is uh, to pursue being a music teacher uh, at either um, the elementary, middle or high school level. She also has a strong um, uh, root and a strong education in, in composition. She might pursue both at the same time. For Alexa, the art of music has become her identity. If someone tried to take music away from me, I'd fight. <laughs> it's still going to be a huge part of my life as I get older and uh, start my life. I, I don't know what I'd do without it. I don't know who I'd be without it. It's so much of a part of me, the, I don't know, it'd be like taking away air. <laughs> You know those experiences in life where you wish you could just freeze time and keep that moment with you forever? Well, one student on campus is making a career out of capturing those moments, and he's not letting anything stand in his way. Allentown native John Strader's college career has taken a little longer than he planned. A motorcycle accident nearly killed him, but he says nothing can keep him from completing his photography degree here at Moravian. He says this is where he's developed his talents. Middle school is when I really started liking photo, but I never got the experience or the opportunities to really um, pursue it. I had that fear of what am I going to do with a photo degree or what am I going to do with an art degree. John decided to put his worries behind him and go with his gut. When he took a class with photography professor Jeff Hurwitz, he knew that he made the right decision. I fell in love with the class. I loved Jeff as a teacher. He definitely inspired me in many ways. John is a really intelligent guy. Um, he's a person that makes it his business to be informed. John quickly became consumed in photography, and as his skills developed in each of his classes, so did his passion. I started really um, diversifying like my my work. I loved like the tactile feelings of the hands-on and really getting into things rather than just manipulating pixels and and working on a computer screen. I've put on. Uh, small shows like in the student gallery space. I felt so free to be able to express anything that I ever wanted to express in absolutely any way that I wanted. Because John changed his major midway through the school year, he's required to attend one more semester at Moravian. There was definitely a lot of things over the summer that happened that kind of kept me from coming back. John couldn't have anticipated the devastation life was about to throw his way. I was in a motorcycle accident. It changed a lot more than I ever thought it would have changed. Despite these challenges, John found a way to satisfy his passion for photography. I actually took up disposable cameras because it was really easy and like I could just crank it with one hand, snap photos whenever. Though John may appear to be all smiles on the outside, it wasn't always easy for him to be so optimistic. It feels terrible to feel like you can't do things, you know, like to feel like you are incapable of doing things that you want to do. For John, this experience has taught him that there is more to photography than what meets the eye. You gain more skill sets through art than just the physical art making. It's a mistake to come into a classroom and expect that someone is going to be there that's going to teach you how to be an artist. Okay? Because that's a very individual thing. And it only happens through a process of discovery, self-discovery. Eventually, John would like to teach his own students. I, I love music. I love uh, all the arts. I love theater as well. But there's something to me about visual arts that 
I can express things in ways that I, I find no other way to. And I think it's, it's like a combination of the three that really make art what it is. For these three aspiring artists, a promising future is right around the corner. Whether your passion is theater, music, photography, or anything outside of the arts, it's important to appreciate what's gained in school beyond the books. For those in college or anticipating college, we start the most exciting chapters of our lives right now. So find your passion, work hard, break out of your shell, and don't let anything stand in your way. Your chance to stand out from the crowd is here. From outside Moravian College, I'm Brittany Garzillo. Thanks for watching. This is a co-production of PBS 39 and Moravian College students.